Hello everyone and welcome back to my playlist of forensic medicine and today we are going to start chapter number 24 from Parikh. Chapter is about impotence, sterility and sterilization also artificial insemination. So first of all, you should know every term you need to know what does each one of these terms mean. With clarity, you should know what is impotence, what is sterility, what is sterilization, or what is sterilization, and what is artificial insemination. So let's talk about them uh, one by one. Uh, so the first thing is um, impotence. Now, impotence basically means inability of a man to perform or a woman if we if we uh, you know talk about females to take part in the sexual intercourse so that is what we call importance so importance basically means um, K, um, uh, if you're talking about males so the males are unable to perform the sexual activity which means that the person may have erectile uh, dysfunction and the erectile dysfunction uh, basically means that the person will not be able to maintain the um, you know erectile position of the penis and therefore the intercourse course will be impossible or difficult so that is the impotence for male and if female female for any reason cannot take part in the intercourse that uh, female is then known as um, an impotent female right so that is uh, importance then we have another terminology which is called sterility is come at the here came erectile dysfunction nahi hai. there is proper uh, erectile physiological activity of male and female is also able to participate but now the person um, either male or female is uh, unable to um, procreate or unable to conceive children. So that can be because of so many different reasons. That can be because of if yeah, male hai, usme is pump count thik nahi hai. Agar female hai, usme, say for example an ovulatory cycles hai. there can be so many reasons but sterility means inability on the part of male to procreate or on the part of female to conceive the children. Yani, uh, uh, sexual activity is normal but there is problem for uh, conceiving pregnancy so after sterility there is another term called fertility now this is simply opposite of what we talked about in sterility sterility ka matlab ye hai ki there is no ability to reproduce fertility means that the ability to reproduce is absolutely fine now that would basically mean ke अगर मेल हैं तो उसमें स्पर्म काउंट ठीक ठाक हैं मोटाइल स्पर्म्स हैं हेल्दी स्पर्म्स हैं और अगर फीमेल है तो ओवम मौजूद है हेल्दी एनवायरनमेंट है यूट्रस के अंदर सो कंसेप्शन विल हैपन सो फर्टिलिटी इज द ऑपोजिट ऑफ स्टेरिलिटी इट मींस द एबिलिटी टू प्रोक्रिएट और कंसीव द चिल्ड्रन राइट सो ये तीन टर्म्स बिल्कुल क्लियर हो गई इंपॉर्टेंट सेक्सुअल एक्टिविटी ही नहीं हो सकेगी स्टेरिलिटी सेक्सुअल एक्टिविटी हो रही है लेकिन बच्चा पैदा नहीं हो रहा एंड फर्टिलिटी इज एवरीथिंग इज फाइन uh, sexual activity bhi ho rahi hai and there is also uh, no problem uh, for conceiving the child so everything looks okay in uh, fertility okay so fertile couple ka matlab ye hai ki a couple which can easily give birth to the next generation now frigidity means inability to respond warmly to sex arousal stimulus so that's something just may uh, the partner is a little um, a laid back type of person and is not actively aroused or warmly participation nahi hai in the act of sexual intercourse the male partner is active partner while the female partner is generally the passive partner although it is not not the case all the time sometimes the females are more active than males it is the male who has to develop and maintain the penile erection sufficient enough to indulge into the act uh, further continuing on this if as a result of the act the ovum is fertilized the women bears the child provided successful embedding of the ovum can occur so that's the usual reproductive cycle as we talk about it and the cycle involves obviously the sexual intimacy and then the intercourse and then deposition of a sperm and then fertilization and then conception therefore in general impotence refers more to male Okay, male may erectile uh, issue hai and for that reason sexual activity proper hoi nahi rahi. Members of either sex, either male or female, may be either impotent or sterile. Yani ye possible hai na ki male may sperms nahi ban rahe, to sterile ho jayega. Female may ovum nahi ban rahe, to sterile ho jayegi female. So that's possible. And impotency bhi dono mein common hai. Although impotent ka jab word aata hai, to zyada tar males uh, problem dimaag mein aata hai. But that can also be an issue at the female side. The difference between the two must be clearly understood. I have highlighted you highlight karke bataya. Impotence means that uh, erectile dysfunction hai. and sterility means that cells are not there or there is no issue that pregnancy. Ho sexual activity will be 
pregnancy nahi hogi right so impotence gives a just cause for nullity of marriage sterility gives no such cause so yahan to impotence is i mean just imagine about it no sexual activity so isse kafi zyada uh, problems create ho sakte hain a decree was refused in a case where a woman before marriage had undergone an operation which rendered her sterile through uh, though competent to have intercourse so this female was readily participating in the sexual activity but usne pehle hi apne ho sakta hai fallopian tubes band karwa diye hon ya ovary mein koi uh, is tarah ka procedure ke now she became sterile the question of impotence or sterility in either gender may arise in the civil or the criminal court now why we are studying this in forensic medicine because cases mein ye rukti hai so civil cases mein for example this question may arise in the following circumstances nullity of marriage or divorce in those cases where marriage cannot be um, consummated or account of impotency yani yani um, if the female is complaining that my partner is just unable to perform sexual activity so that is uh, sometimes in the court presented as a case for divorce the female requires uh, obviously sexual activity and the male is impotent so that's sometimes the basis of divorce in case of contested paternity and suits for adoption when the alleged father pleads impotency or sterility as his defense so now here is a scenario when there is a female and she gives birth to a little beautiful baby but the father says that i am impotent so agar main impotent hu to maine sexual activity ki nahi to ye baby kahan se aaya so ye dispute ke cases court mein aate hain commonly theek hai criminal cases this question may arise in the following circumstances acquisition of adultery rape unnatural sexual offenses agar ek bande pe ilzam lag raha hai aur wo banda aakar court mein kehta hai bhai main to important hu main important hu mera to erectile issue hai aur ye bandi mujh pe ilzam laga di ke maine rape attempt kiya how is it possible so ye criminal case ho gaya right in claims of damages where loss of sexual function is claimed as a result of assault or accident in cases where sterile women puts forward a supposititious child to claim property a bandi asal mein sterile है ओवम ही नहीं बन रहा है एनोवेटरी साइकिल्स हैं लेकिन वो कह रही है बच्चा मेरा है ताकि प्रॉपर्टी के मामला यू नो उसको हैरी सारा सामान उसको जो विरासत की चीजें हैं प्रॉपर्टी और वो बहुत सारी चीजें वो सब मिल जाए बट देन इफ इन द कोर्ट दिस इज प्रूफ दैट द फीमेल इज स्टेर तो भाई ये बेबी कहाँ से आया ये बेबी आपका है ही नहीं तो इसका हेरिडिटी क्लेम किस तरह बनता है तो ये तमाम आपको बातें पता होनी चाहिए कि वॉट इज इम्पोर्टेंस वॉट इज स्टेरिलिटी वॉट इज फर्टिलिटी इन सब के कोर्ट या जूरिस्पूडेंस एसोसिएटेड कॉन्सिक्वेंसेज हैं राइट Now describe the procedure for examining and certifying an alleged case of impotence and sterility. So how do you examine the case of impotency? In medical legal cases, the examination should be undertaken only under instructions from a law enforcement authority. Only if the court is asking you, right? Now, before examining, care should be taken to obtain informed consent. आपने उस बंदे से लाज़मी तौर पे informed consent लेनी है। अब ये नहीं है कि अब आप खुद शुरू हो गए examination करना। Consent is the basis. और यहाँ तो ज़ाहिर इतने sensitive मामलात हैं, तो इतने sensitive मामलात में तो आपने लाज़मी लाज़मी consent लेनी है, right? A general examination should be made, followed by systemic examination, जैसे डॉक्टर करते हैं। Special attention should be directed to the nervous system. एंड द असेसमेंट ऑफ द मेंटल कंडीशन क्योंकि मैंने आपको इस वीडियो के बिल्कुल स्टार्ट में बताया कि मैनी ऑफ द टाइम्स इम्पोर्टेंस इज एसोसिएटेड विद साइकोलॉजिकल इश्यूज तो वो असेस करना बहुत जरूरी है कि बंदा स्ट्रेस में तो नहीं है कोई डिप्रेशन तो नहीं है उसकी वजह से इरेक्टाइल डिसफंक्शन हो रहा हो ये आइडेंटिफाई करना बहुत जरूरी है द प्राइवेट पार्ट मस्ट भी एग्जामिन फॉर सेंजेशन इंजरीज और एनी मेल फॉर्मेशन तो पूरा उसका फिजिकल एग्जामिनेशन करना है ठीक है एंड यू शुड भी डिटरमाइंड वेदर देयर इज एनी इम्पेरीमेंट टू इंटरकोर्स वेदर इट इज परमानेंट और इर रेमिडिएबल तो पूरा फिजिकल एग्जामिनेशन ऑफ द जेनाइटल्स रेमिडियल इम्पेरीमेंट डज नॉट गिव कॉज फॉर्नलिटी फॉर मैरिज इट शुड बी असर्टन इफ द इम्पोर्टेंस एग्जिस्टेड प्रायर टू द मैरिज एज इम्पोर्टेंस अकोरिंग सब्जेक्ट टू द मैरिज डज नॉट कॉन्स्टिट्यूट ग्राउंड फॉर डिवोर्स दैट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सो इफ समबडी कैन प्रूफ कि जनाब शादी से पहले अब ना इमेजिन इट दिस वे देर इज़ हजबैंड दर इज़ अ वाइफ एंड द वाइफ फाइल्स केस फॉर डिवोर्स ऑन द बेसिस के माई हजबैंड इज़ इम्पोर्टेंट अब ये बंदा कहता है कोर्ट में भाई मैं शादी के बाद इम्पोर्टेंट हुआ हूँ शादी के बाद मेरे साथ ये मसला हुआ है तो अब यहाँ पे देर इज़ नो ग्राउंड फॉर डिवोर्स लेकिन इसको प्रूफ करना पड़ेगा ना ना देर आर वेरी इज वेज टू प्रूव दिस सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल द पर्सन मे हैव सेक्चुअल एक्टिविटी बिफोर मैरिज एंड इफ देर इज समन टू गिव 
اس کے لیے گواہی دینے کو کوئی اگر تیار ہو جاتا ہے دیر از اینر فیمیل اس ہے اس کے یا شادی سے پہلے اس کا میرے ساتھ سیکچول انٹر کورس ہوا تھا اینڈ اس کا اس طرح سے پروف مل جاتا سو دیٹ کین بی دین اسٹیبلش کہ بندہ پہلے ٹھیک تھا شادی کے بعد گڑبڑ ہوئی سو اف دیٹ از اسٹیبلش دس از دین نو ناٹ ان آف گراؤنڈ فار ڈیورس اوکے انڈر سیکشن تھری آف دا بامبے ہندو ڈیورس ایکٹ وچ واز ان نائنٹین فورٹی سیون اے ہسبینڈ آف وائف مے یوز فار اے آن دا گراؤنڈ دیٹ دا ڈیفینڈنٹ واز امپورٹنٹ ایٹ دا ٹائم آف میرج اینڈ کنٹینیوز ٹو بی سو ایٹ دا ٹائم آف انسٹیٹیوشن آف دا سوٹ اینڈ دیٹ دیر فور ان کیپیبل آف فلفلنگ دا رائٹس آف دا کنزرمیشن آف دا میرج یعنی اگر یہ اسٹیبلش ہوتا ہے کہ شادی کے وقت بھی بندہ امپورٹنٹ تھا اور اس کے بعد بھی علاج بھی کرا لیا سب کچھ کر لیا نا دیٹس اے گراؤنڈ فار or um, divorce because now the female uh, right for having sexual activity after marriage which is what we uh, label as consummation of marriage so marriage ke consummation ke bahut sare parts hain jisme se ek sexual activity hai wo agar nahi hai banda important hai that can be a ground for divorce right the incapacity however must have existed prior to the marriage must be permanent and uh, is incurable ye cheeze prove karni hogi ki ilaj bhi nahi ho sakta pehle se tha aur hamesha hai hi permanent then that's a ground for divorce right a man may be potent with one particular woman but not with another now listen to this very very carefully this is where this word comes in you know kidhar gaya uh frigidity maybe someone is sexually very much ar- attracted and aroused towards one particular female and not the other one so, so that is the scenario which you have to consider right legally marriage is a contract between two persons of opposite gender uh, which uh, presupposes on the part of each of the lawful use of the body or in other words capability to fulfillment fulfillment of the act of physical union by quietus quietus is the sexual intercourse Therefore, in a divorce suit, the potency must be ascertained in relation to the marriage partner only. In court, this will not be the story of the story. I am important with my wife and with my wife. And then with somebody else, I am like a superman. It will not be the same way, right? Because the court of law sees your potency and impotency with relation to your um, marital partner. in the medical officer if the medical officer finds that the person is normal in all the respects physical examinations are okay genital is normal hai secondary sexual characters well developed hai testicles hai penis sahi se uh, properly developed hai and there is uh, and any obvious cause of impotence is excluded he is justified in certifying that there is nothing to suggest that the person is impotent right accordingly an opinion can be given only in a negative form that there is nothing found on the examination maybe there is something but not found in the examination this is to save the medical legal officer cases of alleged impotency from diseases following trauma electrical shock uh, requiring medical evidence often are very difficult obviously these cases are difficult guys right right تو یہ تو امپورٹنس ہو گیا جناب آپ نے فزیکل ایگزامنیشن پورے کا پورا کر لیا اینڈ یو کین اونلی رپورٹ اٹ اف دیر آر نو فائنڈنگس رائٹ اب بات کرتے ہیں ہاؤ ڈو یو ایگزامن دا کیس آف اسٹیرلٹی ایکچولی دیٹ از مچ مور ایزیئر آئی ووڈ سے ایز کمپیئرڈ ٹو فائنڈنگ امپورٹنس بیکاز امپورٹنس میں نا ایک سائیکولوجیکل ایشو بہت زیادہ ہے سم ٹائمس دا پرسن آر ان اسٹریس اینڈ دے آر ناٹ ایبل ٹو مینٹین دا اریکٹنیس آف دا پینے سو دیٹ is very important to actually exclude the mental and the psychological stuff but as far as the sterility is concerned what you can simply do is do the semen analysis or us bande ne the person has to uh, you know release the sperm semen basically and then you examine the semen in the laboratory and uh, you basically see obviously after masturbation the person masturbates you ask the person to masturbate collect the sperm in a container and then you examine the sperm in the laboratory so you see ke um, sperm count kitna hai spermatozoa کہ موٹیلٹی کتنی ہے فیملس میں بھی اس طرح کا ایگزامنیشن ہوتا ہے کہ فلوپین ٹیوبس ٹھیک ٹھاک ہیں کہ نہیں ہے پیٹنسی ہے کہ نہیں ہے وجائنا اوکے ہے کہ نہیں ہے سو دیز آر ویری آبجیکٹو لیبارٹری فائنڈنگس ویئر یو کین ایکچولی اسٹیبلش کہ اسٹیرلٹی ہے کہ نہیں ہے سو اگر فار ایگزامپل اس پمپ کاؤنٹ ایک سرٹن رینج سے بالکل لو ہے دین یو سی کہ آل رائٹ سو دا پرابلم از کہ میلز میں اس پمپ کاؤنٹ کم ہے اگر اس پمپ کاؤنٹ نارمل ہے بٹ دے آر ناٹ موٹائل انف دین یو فائنڈ اے ریزن کہ آل رائٹ دیٹس دا پرابلم فیمل میں اگر فلوپین ٹیوب میں فائبروسز ہوئی ہوئی ہے سو یو سی دیٹ دیر از اے پرابلم رائٹ سو دیز کین بی آئیڈینٹی fight by examination and laboratory investigations discuss the causes of importance in sterility in male so that's another uh, very commonly discussed topic basically right uh, so let us go through this topic um, the causes of impotence and sterility can be uh, age related malformation embryological local and general diseases injuries for example psychic causes mental causes and some certain operation 
ये तमाम कॉजेज हो सकती हैं फॉर इम्पोर्टेंस और इवन स्टेरिटी इन मेल एंड दे ऑल मेक सेंस बाय द वे Now the power of coitus, which means to perform the sexual activity, which means the erection, commences earlier than puberty through spermatozoa. Though spermatozoa are not usually found, so this is a very early phenomenon in males. Accordingly, a boy is sterile but not important before puberty. So puberty se pehle hi basically erection start ho jati hai, right? In general, one should depend more on the development of the private parts of an individual than the age. So private part and secondary sexual characters dekhne hote hain. There is no upper limit. Um, upper limit of what by upper there is no upper limit regarding potency or sterility of men as long as um, live live spermatozoa are present in the seminal fluid the individual is presumed to be fertile aapne wo kahawat suni hai ki mard aur ghoda kabhi boodhe nahi hote so that sort of thing upper limit to bhai aap pe depend karti hai males can be uh, very very sexually active at the age of 70 or 80 Uh, depends upon how they have maintained themselves so as far as the spermatozoa are spermatozoa uh, are there they are fertile um, agar sirf erection maintain ho rahi hai aur spermatozoa ka count kam ho gaya hai so they are potent but infertile agar erection bhi maintain ho rahi hai aur spermatozoa bhi theek thaak hain so they are potent as well as fertile theek hai and there is no upper limit remember lower limit is puberty प्यूबर्टी से पहले ही इरेक्शन शुरू हो जाती है लेकिन प्यूबर्टी पर स्पर्मेटोजोआ आते हैं सो बिफोर अब लिसन टू दिस टर्मिनोलॉजी बिफोर प्यूबर्टी मेल्स आर यूजुअली पोर्टेंट बट नॉट फर्टाइल एंड देर इज नो अपर लिमिट ऑफ एज दे कैन बी पोर्टेंट एंड फर्टाइल एट द एज ऑफ एटी राइट मेलफॉर्मेशन एबसेंस और नॉन डेवलपमेंट ऑफ पीनेस इज अ मेलफॉर्मेशन राइट जेनेटल्स नहीं डेवलप हुए तो सारा प्रोसेस डेवलप इसी तरह टेस्टिकुलर डेवलपमेंट में अगर कोई इशू है तो इस पर मेडोजो डेवलपमेंट नहीं होगी स्टेरिलिटी हो सकती है लोकल एंड जनरल डिजीजेज दे कैन बी लाइक गोनोरिया सिफिल्स दे कैन डिस्ट्रॉय द स्ट्रक्चर एंड दे कैन एक्चुअली लीड समाइम्स टू टेम्प्रेरी इम्पोर्टेंस समाइम्स देर इज हाइड्रोसिल दैट्स करेक्टेड सर्जिकली सो दे कैन बी डिजीजेज विच कैन अफेक्ट यू नो द प्रोसेस ऑफ इरेक्शन आई temporarily or permanently so they can be local diseases such as gonorrhea syphilis hydrocele they can be general diseases such as neurological problem or maybe uh, such as diabetes you know these are generalized problems hypopituitarism so hypothyroidism for example uh, they can lead to uh, impotence as well as infertility now injuries in addiction injury to head for example spinal cord cord you need a good nervous system to erect and maintain your erectness right if somebody is on drugs like narcotics opium impotency excessive and continued use of certain drugs such as bromide cocaine marijuana tobacco these are all associated with impotence exposure to x rays without proper this is very chronic exposure by the way that can also lead to impotency right and these are very common psychic causes cases of impotence in the male from psychological causes are greatly outnumber those uh, which are actually in the physical form so ye bahut common hai psychological issues right the person want to perform sexual activity but because of any psychological stress cannot right these conditions may be temporary or they may be permanent fear of impotence wow that is you know, that is the fear of performance basically so bride groom issue so on the first night impotence in the bride groom so that is something very common we usually receive a lot of complaints ke jana first night pe to we just failed now when we say we just feel that basically means there is a stress there is a pressure and because of that pressure you know the person is not able to perform the sexual activity okay but that is then um waqt ke saath saath that becomes better emotional disturbances are responsible for a weak erection uh, sexually perverted people may result in impotence or disgust from dislike from partner that is also so see these are all psychological issue you don't like your partner you like somebody else so with somebody else you are fine but with your partner you are not so these sort of issues right okay certain operations partial amputation of the penis for example for any surgical issue koi aisi disease hui jiski wajah se koi surgery karni padi that can lead to impotence if vasectomy say sterility ho jayegi because of as difference koi cut kar raha hai ligate kar raha hai to sperms travel nahi karenge so sterility can be because of also uh, certain operation 
अब फीमेल की बात करें फीमेल्स में अगेन एज इज एन इशू देर इज अटॉप एज इन फीमेल विच इज वॉट वी कॉल द मीनो पॉज सो मीनो पॉज इज एज वेयर द फीमेल डज नॉट रिप्रोड्यूज विच इज बैन वी से अब इनफर्टिलिटी शुरू हो गई दे कैन बी जेनेरिक माल फॉर्मेशन लोकल इन जनरल डिजीज जस्ट लाइक मेल्स इंजरीज साइकिक कॉजेज ऑपरेशन सो दिस अ प्रिटी मच सिमिलर स्पेक्ट्रम ऑफ कॉजेज फॉर इम्पोटेंसी एंड स्टेरिलिटी ऑल्सो इन फीमेल्स एज वेमेन इन द पैसिव एज तो है आपको पता ही ना मीनो पॉज है सो वी नो about this right menarche pe the menstrual cycle begins and now is the female fertile and at, at after menopause everything is stopped so post menopause um, sexual intercourse to phir ho sakta hai but uh, no production of babies right malformations is absence of vagina for example or any malformation in the reproductive system then there are local and general diseases local diseases of the do not ordinarily produce impotency provided vagina is normal so they are more common of a problem in males basically फीमेल्स में इतना बड़ा ये इशू नहीं है ओइंग टू द पेनफुल एंड स्पेस मोर अगर कोई लोकल डिजीज है जैसे कैंडाइडिया से कुछ है तो वजन में एक प्रॉब्लम है जिसमें पेन होता है वजनल कॉन्ट्रैक्शन होती है सो द फीमेल इज एक्चुअली नॉट फीलिंग गुड टू परफॉर्म सेक्सुअल एक्टिविटी एंड दैट वी अंडरस्टैंड इन्फ्लेमेशन है सब चीज राइट सो लोकल इशूज हैं देन इंजरीज इन सबस्टेंस अब यूज अगेन एक्सरेज का एक्सपोजर कोई ड्रग्स का अल्कोहल यूज हो रहा है ओपीएम फीमेल्स भी यूज करती हैं सो नार्कोटिक्स जैसे मेल्स में हमने डिस्कस किया था दे कैन कॉज इशूज हेयर एज वेल एंड साइके कॉजेज जस्ट लाइक इन मेल्स यू नो देर आर सो मैनी फीमेल्स हु आर नॉट वेल साइकोलॉजिकली दे कैन नॉट परफॉर्म प्रॉपरली ड्यूरिंग द सेक्चुअल एक्टिविटी सो साइकोलॉजिकल कॉजेज आर ऑलवेज देयर एंड ऑपरेशन फॉर एग्जाम्पल सो अगर किसी के फ्लॉपियन ट्यूब लाइगेट किया है सो दैट्स एन ऑपरेशन अब फर्टिलिटी नहीं होगी सो दीज फीमेल्स आर स्टेराइल हिस्टेराइक्ट भी फॉर एग्जाम्पल किसी को ट्यूमर्स थे यूट्रस में तो ऑपरेशन की वजह से भी इनफर्टिलिटी हो सकती है ओके नाउ द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक टू डिस्कस हेयर इज कुछ कॉमेंट्स ऑन स्टेरलाइजेशन एंड आर्टिफिशियल इंसेमिनेशन टेस्ट यू बेबीज ये बहुत सुना होगा आप लोगों ने एंड सरोगेट मदर मदरहुड सो दीज आर ऑल द टॉपिक्स विच आर वेरी कॉमन दीज डेज एंड इनको हम आई थिंक इन्होंने सभी अच्छे से डिस्क्राइब किया है सो लेट्स गो थ्रू दैम वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक्स ऑल ऑफ दैम राइट एक एक करके डिस्कस करते हैं सो स्टेरलाइजेशन बेसिकली स्टेरलाइजेशन एक ऐसा प्रोसेस है जिसमें वॉट यू डू इज के आप मेल में भी ये प्रोसीजर हो सकता है और फीमेल में भी सो वॉट यू डो इज कि मेल या फीमेल में आप उनके जो रिप्रोडक्टिव ऑर्गन्स हैं उनमें किसी एक जगह पे ऐसा कोई प्रोसीजर करते हैं सर्जिकल प्रोसीजर जिससे अब उनके गैमेट्स पास ऑन नहीं होंगे फर्टिलाइज नहीं होंगे मीटिंग नहीं होगी सो स्टेलाइजेशन इज बेसिकली ए प्रोसीजर विच रेंड इज अ पर्सन आइर मेल और फीमेल स्टेराइल विदाउट एनी इंटरफेरेंस विद पोटेंसी यानी सेक्सुअल एक्टिविटी इज फाइन नाउ इमेजिन देर इज अ फीमेल और उस फीमेल में ये यूट्रस है ये फ्लॉपिन ट्यूब है ये फ्लॉपिन ट्यूब है और ये ओवरी है आपने फ्लॉपिन ट्यूब्स को ब्लॉक कर दिया लाइगेट कर दिया तो अब ओवा बनेगा लेकिन वो यहाँ से पास नहीं होगा इस पर हम यहाँ से पास नहीं होगा तो फर्टिलाइजेशन नहीं होगी सो वट यू आर डूइंग इज यू आर मेकिंग द वेमेन स्टेराइल but she will still be having the sexual intercourse so she is fine sexual activity wise but she is sterile isi tarah males mein agar aapne vas difference ko ligate kar diya to sperms of pass nahi honge so the person is still um, uh, potent erectile function is fine sexual activity is okay he will also be spitting out uh, semen but there will be no sperm so the person is now sterile so this is called sterilization okay कई रीजन से ये करते हैं एज अ फैमिली प्लानिंग मेजर कि भाई मेल भी लाइगेट करवा दें वास डिफरेंस को फीमेल भी लाइगेट करवा दें फ्लॉपिन ट्यूब्स को ताकि फैमिली साइज कंट्रोल किया जाए सो दैट्स वन थिंग एज अ थेरापिक मेजर फॉर हेल्थ ऑफ द मदर माँ मजीद प्रेगनेंसी बर्दाश्त नहीं कर सकती सो लेट्स मेक हर स्टेराइल टू लिमिट द एडिशनल स्ट्रेन लुकिंग आफ्टर न्यू बॉर्न सो दैट्स अगेन फॉर फैमिली कंट्रोल मेजर सो या माँ की कोई ऐसी कंडीशन है वेलगुलर हार्ट प्रॉब्लम है ट्यूबर क्लोसिस है नफ्राइटिस है सो फीमेल हेल्थ does not allow more deliveries right um can also be used as an eugenic measure to prevent children and physical or mental defects being born <laughs> as being well this is uh, in some countries this is practice ki ji bachcha isliye na paida ho taki usko tension hi na ho ye kya baat hui yaar for convenience when done for many other purposes so many of the prostitutes for example do this because they are very sexually active and they perform sexual intercourse uh, multiple times with multiple partners so they make themselves uh, sterile so that there is no pregnancy at all right Sterilization in male is affected by vasectomy. I already told you, right? Okay. So now the concept of uh, sterilization is all very clear to you. Now, the sterilization in female is affected by ligation of both the fallopian tube. I already told you this as well. Before sterilization. 
an individual a written consent obviously if the sterilization is for contraceptive purposes that is the family planning it is desirable to restrict the operation of those who are over 30 and those who have already uh, at least two children yani agar koi aa raha hai to apne counsel karenge ki bhai dekho abhi aap young ho bahut yaar 25 saal ke ho abhi mat karao yaar ye sterilization aapke babies nahi hai to aapko hi discuss karna hai but then the ultimate choice is uh, of that of the person wo chahte hain agar karna then you'll have to do it okay In respect to the consent, you have to mention that there is no absolute guarantee of sterility after the operation. I have done this fallopian tube block, but still there are very slim chances that pregnancy can be saved. Okay, so you have to explain it. And the procedure may prove irreversible. It may not 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 prove irreversible. consent okay now artificial insemination uh, ai ai is not artificial intelligence here okay <laughs> this is artificial insemination it is defined as the deposition of the semen in the vagina and the cervical canal or the uterus by instruments so if the male is absolutely impotent but he is still producing sperm on sperm ko leke female ke parts mein artificially dal dena is known as artificial insemination okay the seminal fluid used for this purpose may be either from the woman's husband or maybe from a donor depend upon ye sterile hai husband ke nahi hai the procedure is known as artificial insemination homologous in the former agar husband se hi liya hai and uh, heterogeneous Uh, heterologous if it is taken from some other partner in order to side set up certain psychological and legal issues the husband semen may be mixed with that of the donor taki usme ye ho ke bhai ye wala sperm husband ka bhi chala gaya so there are multiple options for this right ke female receives the sperm from the husband from somebody else or by mixing and then she receives everything okay this is what we call artificial insemination um um aage aur kya cheez isme important thi the semen should be collected by masturbation obviously i mean that's the way the person will give his mom and preferably after a week's abstinence yani ek hafte tak masturbation ya sexual activity ko stop karna hai taki acche khasi sperm yahan pe healthy sperm jama ho and then the person is asked to do masturbation release out sperm collect them and then get into the female right uh, within 2 uh, hours 2 ghante ke andar andar one after 2 hours they start becoming dead Uh, the method has been restored to under the following circumstances number 1 when the husband is important zahir hai the person agar important hai to erect nahi hoga penis and the person is unable to then um enter into the female reproductive system so is case mein hum artificial insemination use kar sakte hain ya when the husband is sterile wo usme sperm hai nahi to kisi aur ke sperm use karenge when there is rh incompatibility um, ye waise rare cause hai zyada tar impotency aur sterility mein use karte hain hum artificial insemination when the husband is suffering from some hereditary disorder to usse bachne ke liye we use somebody else's blood so that's the call of the couple right now precautions to be taken by doctor no special precaution are necessary in cases where um, artificial insemination is practiced the following is basically a simple procedure lekin ka sab ka bhi kabhi na a simple procedure lands up into loads of legal problem abhi is pe mazhe ki baat batata hu ek okay uh, the following precautions are essential number 1 the knowledge and full consent of both the consent is very important is consent jitni achhi tarike se likhi hogi baad mein legal problems se aap utne zyada acha bachenge right the identity of the donor and the recipient must not be revealed to each other very important ye na ho pata ho ki janab mr x ka sperm dala hua hai mr ms y ke andar to ye badi achhi cheez nahi hai right the donor must be below the age of 40 wiki donor ki tarah healthy sperm donor the donor must be in robust health condition your diabetes diabetes ye sab garbad na ho usko the donor must be screen for diseases such as aids the wife of the donor must agree agar donor married hai to wife ka on board hona zaruri hai ki uske sperm se bachche paida ho rahe hain a female nurse should be present during the procedure zahir si baat hai female vagina ke andar aap inseminate kar rahe hain the doctor who administers the artificial um, insemination should avoid delivering the child because knows who the true father is so ye procedure alag jagah hona chahiye delivery kahin aur honi chahiye that's the kind of thing but there are legal issues aapne wo movie dekhi hai us movie ka naam good news naam hai movie ka i don't know main naam bhul raha hu shayad but there is akshay kumar there is kareena kapoor there is kayara advani and then that sick person i don't remember the name for that. that hero i'm sorry but unka 
मिक्सिंग हो जाती है सो वॉट सो वॉट एक्चुअली हैपन्स कि उन्होंने आर्टिफिशियल इंसेमिनेशन करनी होती है तो इस सिख हीरो का स्पाम एंटर हो जाता है करीना में हु इज़ एक्चुअली वाइफ ऑफ अक्षय और अक्षय का स्पाम एंटर हो जाता है के आर आडवाणी में हु इज़ एक्चुअली वाइफ ऑफ दैट सिख गा है तो काफ़ी वहाँ खिंच पेच सो लीगल इशूज़ हो सकते हैं ना अब करीना इज़ होल्डिंग द बेबी ऑफ द सिख पर्सन एंड कैरा इज होल्डिंग द बेबी ऑफ अक्षय सो नाउ देर आर लीगल इशूज के इससे जो बेबी बनेगा अक्षय की प्रॉपर्टी उसकी हो सकती है यू नो द लीगल मसले इस तरह के बन सकते हैं इनकेस वे द डिफिकल्टी अराइज फ्रॉम इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ हसबेंड हु इज नेवर दस फर्टिलाइज इट वुड सीम दैट आर्टिफिशियल इंसेमिनेशन विद द सीमेन ऑफ द हसबेंड कैन बी रिकॉर्डेड एज जस्टिफाइबल यानी अगर फीमेल है और उनका मेल इम्पोर्टेंट है लेकिन स्टेराइल है तो इसी का स्पम डालना चाहिए ये सेफ साइड है राइट वैन फॉर एनी रीजन आर्टिफिशियल Uh, insemination homologous is not possible uh, then obviously you take a sperm from somebody else right the legal issues arising their form can be as follow there is a danger of litigation against the doctor following the birth of defective child ke bhai aapne kisi galat bande ka jo hai na sperm dal diya tha hamara bachcha hi abnormal paida hua the husband is not the biological father of of course क्योंकि आपने किसी और का स्पम फीमेल में डाला है सो हेयर इज द कपल एंड नाउ यू आर टेकिंग स्पम फ्रॉम समबडी एल्स सो बेसिकली द हस्बैंड इज नॉट द बायोलॉजिकल फादर द इल लेजिटिमेट चाइल्ड इज नॉट द राइटफुल सक्सेसर टू द फादर प्रॉपर्टी ये सारे लीगल इशूज हैं बॉस इसीलिए कॉन्सेंट अच्छी से लेनी है द मेंटेनेंस एंड कस्टडी ऑफ द चाइल्ड इन द इवेंट ऑफ डिवोर्स वुड अर हाइस कॉम्प्लेक्स इशू बच्चा है किसका there is a risk of incestuous relationship between offspring and the children my god that is a nightmare yahan se jo bachcha paida ho aur wo kisi aur sperm se phir ek aur say for example male baby hua phir female baby hua inke darmiyan sexual relationship because they are babies technically of two different fathers right do alag alag sperm se banaya so that's like a bizarre thing you have to be very very careful about these stuff now if the husband was unaware of the matter he will almost certainly be entitled to use his wife for divorce to so obviously uh, is tarah ki jo procedures hain artificial insemination ke they have to be undertaken by consent of the husband and wife agar wife directly ja ke ye karwa leti hain to that is actually not an acceptable procedure okay artificial insemination except in animals is um, not yet popular in india and countries like pakistan and sri lanka so yahan pe bhi itna common nahi hai the law in india and likewise in other neighboring countries therefore not very clear and therefore you know mera ye khayal hai ki aane wale dino mein aur saalon mein bahut sare aise cases honge jisme legalities bahut clear nahi hongi okay however the consensus opinion is as follows for all practical purposes the husband is accepted as the father of the child so that's the clarity bhale is pam kisi aur ka hai but the husband is considered as the father The recipient is not guilty of adultery because there is no physical union from the coitus. यानी yani if this is husband, this is wife, and somebody else is sperm get in there, तो husband wife पर adultery का इल्जाम नहीं लगा सकता क्योंकि कोई physical intimacy नहीं हुई है सिर्फ sperm को artificially transmit किया गया है female body के अंदर right? Since the act is performed with the consent of both the spouses, it cannot be ground for divorce. So it's usually हस्बैंड ये नहीं कर सकता कल को कि अपनी वाइफ को जाके केस करे कि ये क्या भाई इसने किसी और का स्पम ले लिया स्टार्ट में इन दोनों का कॉन्सेंट लिया गया होगा या लिया जाना चाहिए ओके राइट नाउ व्हाट इज अ टेस्ट यू बेबी द कॉमन एबनॉर्मेलिटी लीडिंग टू स्टेरिलिटी इन द फीमेल इज द फेलियर ऑफ द ओवम टू रीच द यूट्रस इन सम ऑफ द केस इज वॉट वी डू इज वी डू इन विट्रो फर्टिलाइजेशन सो फीमेल बॉडी से ओवम निकाल लेते हैं मेल बॉडी से स्पम निकाल लेते हैं जायगोड बन जाता है इसको उठा करके फिर जा करके खुद डालते हैं यूट्रस के अंदर दिस इज वॉट वी कॉल अ टेस्ट यू बेबी बेसिकली ओके वट इज सरोगेट मदरहुड इट्स अ साइंटिफिक फ्री बिटवीन द प्रोसेस ऑफ री इम्प्लांटिंग विच इज वॉट वी डू इन द टेस्ट यू बेबी Re-implanting uh, and adoption. In this process, the in vitro fertilized ovum is implanted in the hired uterus. Now that's the concept which is now gaining up. Now here it is surrogacy. So that's a male, that's a female, right? What we do is male say a couple hai. Both of them are couple. Is me se humne sperm le liya aur is mother me se humne ovum le liya aur zygote bana liya. Ab ye zygote hume is maa me agar dal denge isi me. That was the original mother. So this is what we call. Um, टेस्ट यू बेबी लेकिन अब ये मदर कह रही है कि बिकॉज ऑफ एनी रीजन आई एम नॉट रेडी टू बी प्रेगनेंट अब वो इसकी मर्जी भी हो सकती है हो सकता है कि इसका कोई हेल्थ कंडीशन हो वॉट्स एवर तो अब वॉट इज डू एज कि एक लेडी को हायर करते हैं और कहते हैं यार ये हमारा जो जायगोड है ना अपने यूट्रस में डाल लो जायगोड तो हमारा ही है तो जेनेटिक्स तो हमारी ही होगी सिर्फ तुम एक इन्वायरमेंट इसको एक लेबॉर्ट्री एक कमरा किराए पर दे दो नौ महीने के लिए ताकि ये जायगोड डेवलप होकर बेबी बाहर निकालो और फिर वो बेबी हम ले लेंगे तो दिस इज दैन नोन एज द सरोगेट मदर दिस कॉन्सेप्ट इज कॉल्ड सरोगेसी ओके 
Now the resultant infant is passed on to the biological father and the wife after birth. Now, nonetheless, the procedure in demand with the changing role of the women who now hold important positions in commerce, industry, science. It's actually very common. Some of the big film stars have also taken the children from surrogacy. So, this is a very common thing in India particularly. Now, this technique permits the new fertility technique. Any man, no matter how few misshapen or immobile his sperms are, to father a child. Now, wow, that's good. Uh, if that's the male, his sperm count is very low, his shape is very bad, but still the person with the help of technology can give birth to a child. So, kind of... پرانے زمانے کا جو اسٹیرائل فادر تھا کہ ناؤ گیف برث رائٹ ایٹ انوالوز ایٹ ڈائریکٹ انجیکشن آف ا سنگل ہیومن اسپرم ان ٹو دا اوم واو ویسے تو آپ نے ملینز آف اسپرم نکالنے ہوتے ہیں ان میں سے بہت سارے ٹریول کر کے اور پھر ایک فائنلی فرٹلائز کرتا نا اوم کو لیکن وٹ وی آر ٹاکنگ اباؤٹ ہیئر وتھ دا ہیلپ آف ٹیکنالوجی کہ اس کے پاس بہت کم تھاؤزنڈز میں اور ہنڈریڈز میں اسپرم ہیں ان میں سے آپ ایک دو ہیلتھی پک کرتے ہیں یو ڈائریکٹلی انجیکٹ دیم سو دیٹ کین بی ڈل وتھ دی ہیلپ آف مائکرو نیڈل دیز ڈیز اوکے پاسبل What is mitochondrial transfer in three parent baby? Three parent baby? Listen to this. In place of faulty mitochondrial DNA of uh, a would-be mother, a healthy mitochondrial DNA by donation from a mother woman is introduced. So, uh, if somebody identifies, and that's very rare, but that's happening. Ke agar biological mother ke mitochondria are disturbed hain, to kisi aur ke mitochondria, because you know there is a very important role of mitochondria guys in the whole process of reproduction, okay? So, ye third party se mitochondria borrow ki hain. This is carried out to facilitate the prevention of inherited conditions, right? Um, there, this is what we call three parent, because now third parent is also involved. Three parent in vitro fertilization. All right, um, Britain has legalized this three parent in vitro fertilization. Certain countries are looking into such. Now, they can say that they have surrogacy concept, test tube baby concepts, or three parent babies concepts. It's all very new concepts. In our countries, like India, Pakistan, Sri Lanka, Bangladesh, this region, in this region, we have to say that 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 we have to یورپ کے اور بہت ساری کنٹریز وہاں اس طرح کے لاز بن رہے ہیں جو ان چیزوں کو پراپرلی ایڈریس کرتے ہیں رائٹ نا وٹ از امپورٹینس یا ای ڈی ٹیسٹ گیو این ایگزامپل از نوین کرشنا بدر آئی ڈی ورسز اسٹیٹ ایک ایگزامپل انہوں نے دیے یہاں پہ ٹیسٹ کی از ناٹ سپر امپورٹینٹ بٹ اینی ویز By the trial court detecting the accused to undergo medical test, potency test, or erectile dysfunction test, observing that such tests do not violate the mandate of the article, the court has present persistently held that in case of accused does not want to undergo such test, the court had the liberty to draw adverse influence. So basically, here, 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 اس کو آپ کیسے چیک کرو گے آپ فیزیل ایگزامنیشن تو کر لو گے جنائیڈلز کا لیکن you will have to ask this person to enter into a sexual activity so that you can see the erection if it's happening or not ہے نا تو یہ سارا itself ایک design جو ہے یہ اتنا psychological stress ہے کہ اس وقت اسی کی وجہ سے اس کا erection نہ ہو رہا ہو تو it's very difficult to actually examine the importance okay but that paragraph is not so important for your exams anyways but the chapter is super important okay so we are done with this particular chapter the, you should know the basic concepts associated with importance history reality and then what are the different modalities available to um, have babies in couples who are either important or sterile or both right so that's all about this chapter we'll see you each other in the next video very soon take care of yourself